June 10th, and uh, we're still Y dropping. I took a couple days just to do nothing or not film and just Y drop out here and clear my mind and just kind of enjoy being out here. Um, it's all the same. I mean, I don't want to bore you guys, but at the same time, I, this is one of my favorite jobs on the farm. Um, you can see we're getting a little mud on our tires. Not bad. This field only saw a half an inch yesterday. We were in the two to three inch range pre forecasted and only ended up with a half inch out here. The corn and bean, everything just needed a drink of water. Um, it'll be nice for those acres where it crossed, just a half inch to anywhere to, some of the fields got up to, you know, an inch and two tenths and somewhere in that ballpark inch and one tenth I think of what the highest field was but just enough to push that stuff in give everything a good drink and keep it going along you can see the weeds out here are starting to die that's just some sandy area there but you can see there's some weeds there that are di dying or dead now um, we, this is one of those preventative plant fields from last year and uh, just being in the sprint being in the field earlier last year um, unseasonably warm temperatures and I think the fact that we had that preventative plant stuff is uh, those fields just have, seem to have more weeds, a little more dirty this spring, but um, everything, it's fine now, but for a while there, they were looking, you know, pretty rough, but we're still learning on the preventative plant, like, uh, I shouldn't say learning, but I mean, it was new to us, that version of it, so um, it was just different this year. It just seemed to get dirty faster on these preventative plant fields from the year before. No worries now, we got them cleaned up. But uh, that's kind of the neat thing about technology. Um, it's called like climate field view or something like that. I think it's the same thing as what we track the planting and, uh, and everything with on the iPad. I have it on my phone, um, not the same account, but I just track all the fields and I have them all selected so that I can see the rainfall totals. And it's quite accurate. We've uh, checked it with rain gauges, or at least I've called around, oh, how much rain did you get when you're talking to guys on the phone? Oh yeah, this, and it's accurate. And it's actually quite interesting that one side of the driveway to the other side of the driveway, uh, there can be a couple tenth difference, you know, in that storm. It tracks somehow the radar and where the strongest part and the cell, it, it's really neat. Um, that's why I knew I'd be able to come out and go today because otherwise I would have assumed where my house is, I got over an inch and there's no way, there's no one in the field, but half an inch, it's been so dry, we're going. All right, next day again, uh, work last night, slept, and water on lunchtime. Uh, we're going a little quicker now, as you can tell, seven and a half mile an hour, we're trying to finish up today. Maybe a slight chance of rain tonight and then uh, really nice calm day tomorrow to hopefully keep spraying beans and maybe finish beans, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going camping this weekend. Field's pretty clean. This is another one of those preventative plant fields where you can see we got some weeds over there. The, it's been sprayed very recently though, so it's in the process of dying off. So we're getting them cleaned up. I think that uh, if we were to have to do preventative plant again, which I hope we don't, because that's not why we get into farming. That's not why we farm. We want to grow a crop. But if we have to do that again, I think the following year we're going to have to do a uh, pre-emerge spray possibly or that'll have to be something that we really have to consider because um, the weeds came in pretty strong again I think it's just because we got into the field so early um, along with everything else warm temperatures early in the year um, and then along with just having that preventative plant stuff that we grew last year in it I, I, I would have liked to I mean typically that's not a thing we do we don't do pre-emerge spraying I've never done it in all of that I've helped out here but um, the weeds came in strong on the preventative plant stuff and it we got wet for a while We couldn't get out in the field, but we've got a handle on them now But that's definitely something that I think we'd consider if we have to do this again That's why this front wheel assist tractor is just amazing, you know You wouldn't think it's that uh, heavy, but I think it's close to 10 gallons or 10 pounds a gallon um, It's 32 that we're putting down um, when you get in these big rolling hills, it's uh, she pulls the tractor and this handles it much better. We used to Y drop with the 4630 and you knew you knew it was back there. This thing still bogs down, but she keeps on clawing with those front tires. It's pretty darn nice. Working on doing this giant hill here. Corn's kind of burned up in this sandy spot where there's a washout, but, or not a washout, but it's kind of like a draw. 
but I'm trying to do these big hills while I'm running out uh, so I don't have to be pulling a full sprayer up and down this hill because I'm not going to get this field done. I'm going to have to go refill. We get off that sandy hill and the corn's looking good again down here. Um, just amazing. There's nothing sticking to our tires. Um, just one day difference. And I mean, last evening would have been like this too, but I had to go to work. But um, it's drying up quick. Not supposed to rain again. There's like a slight chance tonight, but I highly doubt it the way the forecasts have been going. Um, I won't hold my breath. And it's looking like over a week of no rain and some heat again this week. So glad we're putting this down. Um, I can't tell. I think that's an odd row right there that we're on on the far outside. But you can also see on these big side hills, there's a couple spots where um, the one ahead of us is an odd row. The one off to the right over here is the sprayer drift on the side hills. Um, the tractor's in the rows, but the sprayer, you know, obviously it's not self-propelled, so it's, it's sliding a little bit sideways and it ends up hurting some corn, which... We're still doing a good thing out here, both spraying. That's from previous, you know, the herbicide application. But we still believe that we're doing a good thing and there's more benefit than there is uh, damage. So that's, you know, we do what we do. And you just can't help it when you're in the hills. Well, I'm just finishing mowing here with a Z930R. And that striper kit, I don't think I did an ending to that video. It's really windy. But uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up you guys the stripes these are what i was doing today two times ago and last time so i'm really happy with it so far but that's the end of this video uh with that you guys have a good night be safe as always we'll check you later